no digging through the cack in this video I'm afraid. All the cack has got to come from this spray bottle and this spray bottle. Spray bottle challenge. I've never done one of these before. Um, I've watched a couple of others, and a little while ago, an old friend of mine, Reese, who I used to work with at Games Workshop in uh, God, uh, 25 years ago. Reese, 25 years ago, Reese sent me a challenge. He sent this Tim. 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 Ah. There you are. So, we've all seen your channel and your fantastic builds using your foam core and your XPS foam and your bits of card and your bits of stick. But, do you want to take on the spray bottle challenge? Huh? Huh? See what you can do with come and leave bad boys. You got two weeks, my friend, and you can use two bottles, two of these, two of these, one of these, one of these, other things, but they've got to have a pumpy top or a spray top. Anything you like. Oh, don't do Make sure they're empty and all. Crack on, mate. Oh no. Yeah. Right, okay, so um now I've watched a few of these uh, spray bottle challenges. I thought I'd go and do some research. The problem with this is the fact that most of the other spray bottle challenges have got loads of spray bottles. But he specifically said in his challenge just now, you can only use two. <sighs> two. Two spray bottles. Right. Okay. Bloody hell am I gonna do with these? Um. Uh, okay, so uh, actually, first thing we got to do is take them apart. Uh, do you know what? Strange enough, I've never taken apart the complete end of a spray bottle before. So this is going to be interesting from that point of view. I know there's a deceivingly a large amount of stuff in here, so let's take it apart and see what we can see. Yeah, okay, that's the plan. No. Okay. Um. So. Yeah, I'm using this white plastic spray bottle here with its uh, uh, squidgy spray bit. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oops, shit. <laughs> Unnecessary squirt sorted out. Let's take this little beggar apart. There we go. So, uh, uh, yeah, that's easier said than done, isn't it? Right, okay. Now what are we in? Maybe I should have watched a video about how to take these things apart. There we go. Brute force and ignorance I reckon is required. Which actually is my speciality. Right. Okay. Yeah. No. No idea. Now is the time. Oh, here we go. Let's have a little graphic or two on the screen saying sometime later Go on, you vicious little beggar. Oh, oh, okay. I think I might need some tools to do this. Pulling it apart with just my fingers ain't going to do it, is it? Uh, okay. Right. Oh, look, there goes a bit. Got that bit. Oh, well, it turns out that um, hey, these spray bottles are quite a sophisticated piece of engineering, aren't they? Really? Look at that. I might just get that bit out. Well done, mate. Oh, there's a bit. There's another bit there. Good. <laughs> there's a thing. It's a green thing. I don't know what I can do with that. Um, it's a bloody stupid idea, this really, isn't it? Um, I've got. I've, I thought. Oh, I've done really well. I've got that bit out. That just looks like a seal around the cap. Um, and I picked this one because it was kind of quite an interesting shape. But I've still got quite a few bits in here that I haven't actually detached yet. So. I shall keep swearing away. Maybe I should have watched somebody else's video to see how to take these bloody things apart, but where would the fun in that be, eh? This is all part of the learning process, Tim. It's all part of the learning process. 
Uh, come back and see me in a little while. Right, well that wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. I had a spray bottle fall apart on me in the kitchen the other day and I thought oh, I'd be a piece of cake this. Cut myself. Thanks Reese. Having a great time. I broke a bit. So in the spirit of, you know, full disclosure, I have broken a bit of my bottle before I've even bleeding started. Right, so that's that one. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this. There's a nice Cousin's kind of like hand gel bottle. And this is a squirty, spring loaded, springy one. Again, don't know how these come apart. Well, we're going to have fun finding out. There we go. Does that bit come out of there? That'd be nice. I can't get over the amount of incredible engineering has gone into making the, the ability to just kind of like. spring with flipping. Get some get some soap out of the thing. Look at it, it's amazing. An incredible bit of technology. Look at that. Huh. Okay. Fucking spray bottle challenge. Yeah, again, talk quietly amongst yourselves. <sighs> okay. That's it then. <clears throat> this is <clears throat> the contents of my <laughs> two bottles. Knackered lid, because I broke that, taking it off. Uh, and there's a broken bit of plastic there, um, and then um, two bottles, yep, and for various cack. What a smeg am I supposed to do with all of that? This is definitely going to be a two coffee uh, situation, I think, at least. Coffee's required. Yes. Knackers. Okay. Hmm. Right. Bollocks. There is of course one advantage to do in this project. It smells gorgeous. Oh, fresh. Kitchen bathroom fresh. I have no idea what I'm going to do at this point. I like XBS foam and balsam wood. I know what I'm doing with that crap. This is just bloody stupid. What am I supposed to do with this? Uh, I'm thinking some kind of soap dispenser. <laughs> all these guys, right, have done these things on YouTube. I've watched a few, and they're all kind of slick, and they all do this cool shit. And I'm thinking kind of soap bottle with kind of squirty kind of... And <sighs> it might have to be something for Judge Dredd, I think. All right, schoolboy error number one, then. Um, and actually number two, number schoolboy error number one was burning my fingers on the hot glue. Schoolboy error number two is that uh, really before I started doing anything with this plastic I should have taken glass paper to it and given it all a good buffing over to kind of like make it possible for the paint to key into uh, the plastic. But I'm doing this in the middle of the night and I didn't think about that and I haven't got any so um, I'll have to have a different solution for making sure paint sticks. We'll see that at the end of the video. Right, let's get back on with the actual sticking with hot glue gun. Because look, the first bit kind of stuck on. I mean, look, it's kind of, I mean, Jesus, I mean, that's kind of Eldari, that shape. But no, we're going for delivery van for Judge Dredd. It's working for me already, this. And the hot glue is pretty good, actually, on this plastic. That's not bad at all. I don't really like using hot glue. It's, it's against my nature. But um, as it goes, uh, it's pretty cool. And, of course, you could trim off the bits you don't need. Um... And uh, yeah, and you can use hot glue for other stuff too, so you know, effects and things. So, um, yeah, let's keep going and see what we can do. <laughs> More sticky, sticky. All the pros, they're bloody good glue guns, just stand up all the time. Well, oh, no, mine don't. Ah. Tell you what, Reese, I'm going to be calling you rude names all the way through this damn video. Possibly this stuck on the back. That gets quite a nice back shape. Now I've got an awful lot of bottle that's still quite clearly bottle. 
This is not what we're aiming for. Hmm. Start thinking about using this pretty soon. This has got to be the key to all this. Okay, so I have done some research whilst doing this, um, and I have found out and learned some stuff. I've learned about uh, plastic bottles from Dark Matter Workshop. Uh, if you haven't found this stuff, go and look at him. I bet you have, because he's got way more subscribers than me. Very amusing gentleman. He did a spray bottle challenge. He talked about this kind of plastic bottle. Um, and for the life of me, I can't remember the name of the plastic it is. It's high density polyethylene. That's the name of the stuff. That's the plastic with the number two in the recycling symbol. They're the bottles that you can use, you can heat up, you can play around with, and mess about with to use in this model. Uh, and that's certainly what that white bottle is. High density polyethylene. Plastic number two. Which means you can cut it up and heat it up and bend it and uh, make it your shape. So the key to this model has got to be this ball because I've got to work out a way of making a bit more superstructure for my, my hover truck uh, with this stuff. I've never done this before. So yes, this really is a spray bottle challenge. Thanks, Reese. <laughs> to do any heating at you at all yet all I've done is cut so I've cut bottle and uh, look uh, I've got kind of back bit to truck uh, and a back door here I need to come up with some stuff to go under there and I want to use more of this cack from the the bottle but I don't think that's gonna be difficult because I'm gonna be able to cut these in half and add bits to it and stuff but it's coming along I actually think it looks quite judge dread trucky I'm quite pleased I'm quite enjoying this. All right, you might not be such a pain in the ass, Reese, after all. Um, I've still got quite a lot of work to do, though. But uh, yeah, it's kind of coming on. After a couple of hours fiddling, this is where I've got to. I'm quite pleased with it. I'm going to leave it alone now and let all the glue go off. And then tomorrow, I'm going to look to paint it. Uh, of course, what I haven't done, like I said at the very beginning, is prepared it to take paint. So we're going to have to go and find a different way of doing that. <laughs> Let's see. Right, so this is going to be my experimental plan for painting this little fecker. Because as I said to you, I completely forgot I didn't have the glass paper to um, sand down all the plastic to get the paint to key into it. So I'm going to have a go at using this stuff, which goes on anything and will allow paint to pretty much attach to anything. It's not what I'd normally recommend for a model, but we're going to give it a go and see what happens. So I'm going to paint this on and then we're going to prime it with a spray. Then I'm hoping that's when the magic will take place. Black undercoat on it, and all of a sudden, it starts to look quite cool. Just needs a paint job now. Quite happy with that. Painting at my office desk this evening, as opposed to out in my workshop, mostly because the workshop uh, workspace is completely full of Burrows and Badgers Abbey. So I'm having to paint the spray bottle challenge vehicle out of here. Uh, you can see there is kind of red, Halfords red prime. 
I'll go for Chuck. It's kind of 2008D star gravy kind of thing. So from that point of view, colour's pretty cool. I'm going to get on and paint it, see what we can do. Um, I'll check in with a little while. I'm not going to video the whole process. I'm trying to keep this video short for once. Right then, so that's the mod all finished. Painted, done. Um, I'm quite pleased with it, I think. Uh, it's one of those things where you kind of have to get your head around the fact that it's not a kit, so it doesn't look necessarily like a kit, but it, it, it's come up all right. Um, really difficult challenge. Thanks, Reese. Um, above anything else, the ones I've watched mostly on YouTube have been kind of like spray bottle challenges where they've had an unlimited number of spray bottles they could take apart and use. So trying to do this with just two bottles was really kind of tricky. Um, we'll have a look at the model in a moment. Let's first have a look at what I didn't use. Down here. This is what I didn't use. There's a few gribblies and bits and pieces there. Um, I just couldn't kind of figure out how I could get all of that on the model. It's not a huge model, so from that point of view, I didn't need it all. But there are definitely some very cool pieces here that will look great on a, a Necromunda model or various other bits and pieces. So that lot is all going in the CAC box. Should go and have a look at the actual finished model now, then. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm pretty sure that uh, Reese will use most of the uh, bits available. I just couldn't squeeze all of everything there that you know is into what I wanted to do in the end. Um, I did try, but it all started looking just a bit junky, and I didn't want that. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do, of course, is stick all that in my cack box. That'll be useful. There'll be various bits and pieces of cack there. Um, I'll be able to use it next time. Anyway. Let's have a look then at my finished model, which uh, is an umpty candy delivery uh, truck for Judge Dredd. Or it might work really well in Stargrave, um, or it could be used, uh, well, hell, I mean, any kind of science fiction game, really. Um, it's a bit too slick for kind of Necromunda 40k, uh, but there are bits of, of moulding on this that I really like. So here we go. This is it. So it hovers, um, the signs I've got to confess, the Umpty Candy signs I've just kind of like done online, found those, they work quite nicely, there's one on the back of the truck as well. And at the minute I haven't decided whether I'm going to stick these on permanently or not, um, I might make other signs to go on it and make it a multi-purpose kind of truck, or I might just bite the bullet and kind of varnish over them and stick them on, because if I like this as a truck design, hell, I can make others. I know it's only going to cost me a couple of quid for the, the plastic bottles, um, so from that point of view, pretty cool. Uh, so, uh, what have I got to say? Well, first of all, uh, here is Reese's model. Check this out. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> right then, come on in. Should we do it then? Right, okay. How are we gonna do this then? Right, on mine's, mine's on a turntable over here to my oh, left. Posh. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my, my, I'm gonna put my hand over the camera now like this. Oh, look at right. that. Take, look at that. This take is, my this camera is, over here. This is, this right. Is, this is photo video quality at its best. Oh yeah, yeah. Right, but you ready? See. <laughs> cool. Three. Okay. One. And on, two. And on, and on. Oh, three. three? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's very Oh, look brilliant. at that, mate. Yours is really cool. That's, that's, <laughs> it is. That's I don't know if you can see that. It is the order. Nice. <laughs> it was a very good. <laughs> uh, that's really, really nice. Sump fishing vessel. Well, it's it's um it's a yeah, it's a it's a crock catcher. That's bloody it's ice. A, it's for catching sump crocks. So it was the, that's it was really the nice. Bottle, it was actual bottle shape. That, I mean, when I got the bottle. I can't thought, yeah. all I've got to do is cut it in half, and that'd be great. But then that only comes about there. Hang on. <laughs> and it comes about there, and I'm like, oh, no, that's far too short. So then I had to kind of wedge through together. Of course, both the bottles do that. They go, whoop. So yeah, they're... To, I'll show you, the, I'll show you the, the, I'll show you the making of the sausage here, look. So I had to it, slice it and get it to go together. 
And yeah, then, yeah. You know, then a couple of processed down some other bits of it and made a little riveted patches on. But see, what, now what I do with that even is... Cable, is that... Even, look, even the funky cable is from... That's just one of that's, the toughest... That's really cool, man. <laughs> well, you definitely win on using all the parts. Yeah, Mate, I, I, I try to use all the all, all the buffalo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I've got... Um, I don't know what I've done with it. I must put the box back in the workshop now. Uh, but yeah, I've got a box of bits that I still haven't used, you know. So because I mean what I do with yours now is I'd I'd take it and put a hardball base or a plastic card base on it and mold and sculpt um, you know, scum water around yeah, I mean, the side of it. I did think of that because that was again that was the first that again, that was the other thing was like, you know, do I sculpt a bottom or do I put it on something? But I thought no, if I put it on something that's breaking the rules. Um, yeah, yeah. I could have fashioned a platform out of the other bottle, but that would have meant me heating it and flattening it, and you know, and I thought, you know, and actually, it does, it, it does sit. So it's weird that I've almost kind of made this in mind with your table in mind. <laughs> yeah, well, do you know what I mean? I looked at it. And went, wow, that's that's totally because I've got a couple of builds coming up that are yeah. going to be Necromunda, uh, are going to be some fishing related kind mm. of like models, and um, yeah, that's. That's absolutely ideal. I mean, I, that's I, really I, cool. I, I quite like the engine as well. I think that was that part is almost untouched. That is that's pretty wicked. I mean, I used that's, my one of those. That's just straight um, out, straight out of the bottle. I think that bit's glued onto it, but that yeah. bit there. Yeah, yeah, it's all I'll one thing. It's just one part, and it was just like that's a that's a gift. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I've cut my one of those up into two bits. I think yeah. I think it's two bits, but yeah, it's. I'm I'm never going to walk around. Uh, supermarkets and and savers uh with you know <laughs> the, in the same way that i used to now i mean i've always been a, yeah. a, a looking at interesting packaging kind of person but now looking at those yeah you actually sit very Not good very dread i love it yeah well that's what i was kind of going for you know it's like um, it. look at that um, that's awesome i wanted i wanted that kind of for, yeah delivery truck kind of yeah, thing um, what's that like, 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 like a chew it um, yeah, Umpty Candy is, um, there were stories fairly early on. It was a kind of sweet um, that, I, if I remember rightly, he says he's trying to turn the camera so it's kind of like flat. And if I remember rightly, Umpty Candy got banned because it was so highly addictive. In Mega City 1, they banned, sugar gets banned because it's so highly addictive. Yeah, and I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure Umpty Candy gets banned as well. So, um, yeah, but, but what I've done there, I've cheated there because I could take those labels off at the moment. Oh, um, man. I couldn't decide if I was going to make them permanently part of it or whether I'd um, make some other labels. But I quite like it as a model. I'll tell you so what, the I... front is very Tau Hammerhead. Yeah. And I don't well, mean I mean... that in a bad way. I mean, the fact that those parts have come together to make something, you know, that's commercially available. I didn't mean that, yeah. I didn't mean that in any sort of negative. That's almost like, wow, you can make the, the... a Tau Hammerhead out of that and it wouldn't look out of place. The, the, the top parts, I mean, the, the, the bottle I picked, you just absolutely screamed cockpit. You know, yeah, yeah. So I, I kind, kind of fancied delivery driver sat in there, and the rest. So yeah, he's kind of up front, and the rest of that is all just kind of like, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. delivery vehicle. But I think, I think, as I, I think, well, yours is brilliant. I'm pleased with mine. So I think we've had a success. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I, you know, I think we, that's a success. That we a call success. it a tie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, it was, it was a challenge. It was never a competition. <laughs> <laughs> like, everything's a fucking competition come on <laughs> yeah no I'm, I think, think the thing is in the end is that yeah there's no point in, in, in this it was yeah I'm really pleased I've actually got something that I will happily put on a table yeah, um, yeah, yeah. and will appear oh, in, in, in my in Judge Dread games and, and that kind of thing so from that point of view yeah totally worth doing and for me I've been so stuck in making this Abbey for Burrows and Badgers, yeah, yeah. which has taken me about six weeks so far. Yeah. It was really nice to do something thing, quick and in a completely different world. And, you know, I mean, it was, yeah, so for that point of view, really refreshing to do. So great fun. So, yeah, great idea. Yeah. Um, we'll next more. time we'll do one, we'll have to be more specific and say we'll make a building. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. Or well, just quickly, I've even started a captain, a little captain. Quiz. Oh, get you. We see, yeah, that's the next thing I've got to work on. <laughs> crew and bits and pieces for, for yeah Necromunda vessels because my problem at the moment now for, for what I want to do is I've got so many ideas yeah. I want to do Lord of the Rings stuff oh, um, Lake Town don't. stuff I want to do Shire stuff I want to do 
Um, I've got loads of ideas for more B&B oh, stuff. Oh, oh, this is a sneak peek now, and my uh, people who are watching this video, they're going to get a sneak peek of the next <laughs> after the Necromunda table. So hang on. This is, again, quality filmmaking. I don't know if you can get that in. Wow. That is okay. the new um, Titan that just brought out for Desert Mechanicus. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to make a 40k one. Cool. This Shut is, up. Uh, this, is, this is scaled up. This is what okay. I can actually be. Right, well, that's going to keep you out of trouble for a little while then, isn't it? Is. it? Yeah. <laughs> that might be, that might have to be a, I'll work on a bit of it once or twice a month. <laughs> <laughs> you know. See, well, there you go. Uh, <laughs> thanks for the challenge, Reese. Uh, it was very interesting doing this, um, getting my head around using uh, these plastics. I'd like to do some more purely because I'm not very experienced in using those kind of plastics and working with uh, different glues um, and super glue and bicarbonate soda. Um, but i am actually come up with something that looks great on the tabletop. This is actually the first thing I've got made for Judge Dread. I haven't painted anything else. I feel really bad. I wanted to put this on like a, a, a tabletop scene um, with other painting models. But this is the first thing I've actually done for Dread. So uh, look out for future Judge Dread videos from me because this truck is definitely going to kind of like be in there in the background somewhere. Um, Although it might have a different livery, I might kind of like do a bank kind of like livery. It might be used for a bank heist, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but it's been a really good experience. There were bits of it where I kind of got fed up and I wasn't happy with it at all. But in actual fact, it's turned out pretty good. So um, I'm definitely going to use this kind of thing, I think, in the future. Um, especially for this kind of build. Thanks for everybody in my YouTube uh, community who suggested different models that I, and things that I could do with the some of these bits oh, i think i might try and pick that up uh thanks big time thanks for uh reese from minis models of mayhem for suggesting this and chucking the challenge at me uh, go check out his channel as well give him a subscribe he hasn't been kind of like running his channel very long and he could do with your viewing he makes some brilliant brilliant stuff and i will see you again next time on magathea builder of worlds see you later